A fast radio burst is very much like what it sounds. It's a burst, it's a very fast burst of radio waves. It comes from uh, outer space, a long way away. Uh, and by fast, I mean really fast. So it's, it starts and stops in about a thousandth of a second. So you click your fingers and it's finished. Fast radio bursts are a real mystery. We don't really understand exactly where they come from or what actually makes them. Uh, and there's a lot of open questions that we really don't have an answer for. Uh, there are probably more theories about what makes fast radio bursts than there are actually actual detections of these things. So since 2007 we've only had 20, but there are probably 30 or 40 different theories on what makes them. The, the most interesting thing about this burst is the fact that we found it with uh, the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder. So that is, uh, it wasn't really obvious that we would be able to do this uh, as well as we ended up being able to do it. So, um, so this telescope is really a fantastic telescope. In fact, it's probably the best telescope on the planet at the moment for finding these bursts. And so whereas in the past it's taken 10, 10 years to find 20 bursts, once we're really going with this new instrument, we'll be able to find them much more quickly, one every, you know, one or two every week. Uh, and that will blow open the field, so that will make it a much more, um, you know, we'll be able to do much more detailed studies of these things, get better statistics, understand what they, hopefully understand what they are and where they're coming from. So I think the thing that's most interesting about this burst is the fact that it heralds a new era, uh, not only for the telescope, but for the whole field, where we'll be able to ha actually have lots more things to play with. Um, that's the, probably the most important thing. I liken it a little bit like uh, the Sauron of space, you know, the all-seeing eye, because we see so much of the sky in comparison with other telescopes, uh, we really can catch these things really easily. When you can find a whole bunch very quickly, which is what we can do now with the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get a nice uh, uniform set that we can uh, start to do some statistics with. So a classic thing you, you, we can do is measure how many really bright ones there are versus how many faint ones, and that tells us uh, whether the things that we're looking at come from fairly nearby or really far away in the universe, uh, much further than we might even think. <laughs> <laughs>